So we're back at the rescue house and we're back in the bedroom where the flooring has all the mold. And the uh, the old wood floors, pardon me, I just had to open the window to try and get rid of some of this echo. Uh, the floor uh, that we removed and cleaned up the concrete as well as we could and what we found is I think the source of where the water's coming from. This is a floor where the wood was all moldy and uh, the room actually smells like mold so I think it's probably there's probably more of it in these walls than we know about. Um, but right here you can see these little fissures in the concrete and you can see the little dark areas around them that have uh, moisture coming through them still. And this has been, uh, this floor was removed probably almost a week ago now, but it still isn't dried out. And I don't know that it will be because I think that there's a big moisture problem underneath the foundation. I think that's been the cause of this whole problem. That's my guess. Now we checked the water meter and we took a picture of it and checked it two weeks later, took another picture of it, and it was exactly in the same spot. In other words, there doesn't appear to be any pressurized water leak. But what I do know about water leaks under these slabs is that there can be a pressurized and a not pressurized water leak. And one can be caused, a uh, not pressurized, is if you had a sewer leak or some uh, plumbing under there that's passive, that doesn't have pressure on it, just as gravity fed. Um, in older houses, that was the case a lot of times because of the clay or cast iron piping. But in this house, I don't think that's an issue. The other thing, of course, is if you have water just migrating from the outside where... I'm showing you this little area right here where this concrete border is. I've shown you that before. And I do believe that, that things like these uh, tend to trap water and force it up under the foundation. But in, on, in the case of this house, I don't believe we have a plumbing, a pressurized plumbing leak because we would, first of all, we would see it in the... Uh, in the uh, water meter and secondly we would see damage in this slab wherever it's leaking you would see the water coming up and there's just there was so much of a moisture problem I think it's something that w would be obvious so it's not just some tiny little uh, pin, you know pinhole spray in a mist it, it, there's a lot of water coming up through here I believe that it's water that's migrating up from under the ground. I don't think there's a plastic vapor barrier under this slab, or if there is, it, it's not doing its job. So I just wanted to show you that when you uh, put new floors in your house, you might want to just examine the old concrete so you can see if you have problems like this that are existing that you need to do something about.